So a question I've seen all over the place is what would it take or when would Apple release a flippable iPhone? Meaning an iPhone that can actually flip and or fold something similar to like a Galaxy Z Flip that I have here or a Galaxy Fold that I you know that Samsung makes as well. Now here's the thing, right? There have been lots of rumors. I think a rumor just came out the other day stating that Apple could actually be in the works of making a flippable or foldable iPhone and it could be released in the next few years. Now, I will definitely tell you the process and the way Apple is going to do this is not what most people think. You know, as of right now, Samsung is really one of the main manufacturers who's making a flippable phone. We can see Samsung, I mean, they make really good devices, but if you see, I mean, if they were to make a flippable iPhone, I think it'd be great. You could have complications on the front, just like the widgets we have on the lock screen that we now have on iOS 16. And I think Apple is teeing things up for us to basically utilize some sort of flippable device. But here's the thing that a lot of people forget. Samsung, I think, is trying to become the forefront in developing these panels so much so, in fact, that they are trying to make that demographic of flippable and foldable iPhones. So then they are basically the go-to people to create the panels for these devices for Apple. Meaning, even though their first fold phone didn't really work out too well, they made the flip phones, they made all these other devices too. There's a reason Samsung is continuing to make these devices. A lot of people know that the standard bar phones like these ones, they're getting maybe a little bit too old. And it seems like most people want to go ahead and, you know, find some bigger reasons to go and upgrade and do and change some other things here and there. But if the phone continues to look the same, I mean, that can be a little bit too old for some people. And that's why Samsung now, they remove their Note lineup of all things. They remove their Note lineup to bring in this specific flippable phone. So that's one, right? The reason Samsung is doing it is because probably they see people are bored of their other phones and they're starting to see a lot more people purchase these flippable and foldable phones. Now, another thing, Samsung actually does create a lot of panels for Apple. So, you know, Apple will go ahead and create a new iPhone and some, if I think for the Pro models, Samsung will go ahead and create the panels. Samsung makes amazing displays. They make displays for all sorts of things, monitors, TVs, and smartphones as well, and tablets. So now, Samsung, if they become the forefront, if they become the go-to people for these flippable and foldable phones, I mean, they have so much more experience, you know, for a big manufacturer like this. They're not the only ones making flippable phones, but they are one of the main people who've, you know, been, you know, at the forefront and creating all the panels, the phones, and everything. So then Samsung can go ahead and go up to Apple and say, hey, you know, we already made these other panels for you. If you are going to make a flip phone, I mean, we are the go-to people. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what Apple is going to be doing. They're going to team up with Samsung and they're going to go ahead and create, you know, an iPhone flip. When could we see this? I don't think it's going to be happening in the next two years, but I probably would say as soon as, I would say as soon as probably 2024 or 2025, we could see some sort of flipping phone from Apple. Now, I think it's going to be almost identically like this specific phone, like the Z Flip. I don't think they're going to go for the fold yet, but I think if they're going to go for the flip, it's probably going to be in the same size. It's going to be half. I mean, if you think about it, these two phones are kind of similar too. It's just so one flips and the other one doesn't. So I would love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.